This is Keep It Simple Phone Tech. We're going to take a look at Android Q Beta. So the official version should be coming out here maybe the end of August, September, somewhere around there. Not a lot of substantial changes, but we'll take a look at the changes that you will see, starting with the adjusting of the notifications. And you can do this by app now. So you can go through and you can silent or you can alert and set your notifications per app. So instead of it being across the board, either notifications are turned off, uh, you know, set on silent, or they're turned on, you can go app by app and make the adjustment. You can also, with a press and hold of an app, you can pause notifications. So there'll be, as it says here, you won't receive notifications, it looks like, for the remainder of the day. There's going to be a dark theme now if you go into the notification shade. So you'll have dark theme presumably across the board. As you can see there, the Google app, dark theme does apply. So it's going to be on the phone. You see I swiped over on my home screen and got the calendars in dark theme. And yet when you open up the messages app, there's no dark theme. But if you pull down a little hamburger menu, you've got a dark mode within it. So then if you go into the notification shade and you turn off dark theme, you go back to the messages app and it's still in a dark theme. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work going forward with the official version, but there is going to be a dark theme to come. Maybe it'll apply across the board for all the apps and all the phone. Maybe it won't. Next, we'll take a look at location. And with location, you see on the left side, I've got Android 9. On the right side, I've got Android 10. With location, this isn't really a substantial sort of thing, but it is a difference. Just take a look at the layout here. So basically, per application, you can change the different settings for the location permission. So per app, you can have the location on all of the time or just when you're using the application. A similar sort of thing with just general app permissions besides location whether it be like the use of the microphone, the camera, contacts, etc. Um, really, on this, it's just the look is a little bit different. Android 10 is on the left, Android 9 is on the right. The look is a little bit different. It's still sort of the same concept with turning on and turning off. It's just maybe the concept is a little bit cleaner on Android 10 versus Android 9. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you to decide whether or not. But that is a change anyways that we'll point out. Not necessarily the most exciting thing, but it is a change. Now this is, we'll call it bubbles. And so you see me turning on the, I'm in the phone app and I'm going to voicemail. But what I'm really showing is that when you get out of the application, now you've got this floating bubble that you can move around. And you can see with the phone app, you've got the two options there on the bottom of the screen. Also, if I press and hold this phone app, this little bubble, I get a few more options to choose from. So expect that to be rolled out on Android 10. We'll see how that looks uh, on the official version. Next, apparently captioning is going to be available on all videos. So even the videos that you create that have audio, if you can't have the audio turned on and you're playing the video, you're going to get this captioning feature. Finally, we're going to take a look at this gesture, full gestures, gesture navigation. You can see from the home screen, swipe halfway up, we'll call up the recent apps, a swipe up from the application will take you back to the home screen. A swipe to the left or the right of the bottom will get you into the Google Assistant. And while a swipe up all the way through from the home screen, that is going to take you into your app tray. So this whole concept is very similar to the iPhone 10 series. If you've used that or played with that, it's going to be the same thing that you can expect on Android Q, at least for the Pixel phones anyhow. I don't know how Samsung or LG, um, other manufacturers, they're going to present this. I will be very curious to see how they present this anyhow. But on the Pixels, this is what you can expect. So in the settings under system, under gestures, is where you're going to find gesture navigation. And then you're going to find this little gear next to gesture navigation. And you have back sensitivity. Now, the back button in this case is going to actually be a swipe from either side of the screen. This is definitely controversial. And this definitely does not work very smooth. I don't know how it's going to look on the final version of Android Q, but if it looks anything like what it does now, I don't think people are going to be using the whole, this gesture navigation, a full gesture navigation 
very much because the whole back button thing is going to make things really messy, uh, for lack of a better word. And you can see I'm illustrating just how it can be a challenge anyhow. But with that, that's Android 10. I mean, not a lot of exciting features, but new features. Let me know in the comments what you think about these different features coming up.